Now, there's going to be an interrelationship between the, uh, the media that you're using and what kind of signaling that you're doing. Um, if you've got wires, a particular twisted pair, um, you are going to use electrical impulses. Um, if you are uh, doing it over free space, you know, you may be uh, using microwave transmission. Uh, you may be using free space lasers. Um, that's uh, not too widely used these days with uh, the uh, utility of fiber optic cables. Um, you know, and again, you're using light there. Um, how, you know, how you modulate the, uh, the signal um, to carry data is again going to depend upon uh, you know what kind of signaling you're doing um, with uh, with lasers it's frequently just on and off um, with uh, radio frequencies um, or uh, electrical uh, signals of the you know telephone uh, type um, we are uh, using um, uh, sometimes the, the frequency, uh, sometimes on and off, uh, sometimes a particular frequency that turns on and off, uh, sometimes multiple frequencies in order to carry it. Um, uh, depending on the technology, um, sometimes we can see enough of the, the pattern of the waves to look at the phase shifts um, changing from, uh, you know, a, a steadily rising curve um, to the peak of the curve or to the trough of the curve. Um, these uh, shifts, um, these modulations can all uh, be used to carry data. And, and, you know, depending on what we do with, with different amplitudes, with different frequencies, with different phase shifts, you know, we can carry multiple bits of data for uh, a given change, a, a given modulation. So, you know, we, we can carry uh, a variety of data in a variety of ways. Uh, the, uh, well, you know, talked about wireless microwave is one free space lasers um you know radio frequencies of of different types um the uh origin of a, a fair amount of uh the technologies that went into uh ethernet started out with um uh radio transmissions uh to uh hawaii from the mainland so um you know uh, you use what you have, you can utilize it in a variety of ways. Um, we have satellite communications, uh, but these days, of course, it's, it's mostly uh, cables and, and particularly uh, fiber optic cables um, laid on the seabed. Uh, the satellites are... Uh, possibly useful, um, but, uh, well, in some cases, very useful, but uh, they do have limitations, and particularly in the total bandwidth and a bundle of uh, hundreds of pairs of fiber optic cables using, uh, you know, advanced technologies in terms of the, the modulation of the lasers can carry a, an awful lot more bandwidth. So that's why, uh, you know, satellite is not the latest and greatest. Um, it's interesting. Uh, you can use this as a, um, you know, to win bar bets. Um, uh, whether, uh, you know, which is, which is fastest. Uh, twisted pair 
coaxial cable or fiber optics. And of course, most people will say fiber optics. But of course, uh, you said fastest, not necessarily what has the greatest bandwidth. Fiber optics does have a lot of bandwidth, but uh, fiber optics um, keeps the, the light inside the, the cable by having layers of different um, indices of refraction. And that means that the, the core uh, fiber is of a very high index of refraction and therefore um, the, the light that is traveling on fiber optic cable actually travels only about half the speed of light whereas on a coaxial cable it, it travels pretty much at close to the speed of light and uh, so actually coaxial cable and sometimes twisted pair is in fact faster than fiber optic cable in terms of the latency of the transmission of the signal going from end to end of the cable. So, uh, oh, we've got, yeah, all kinds of considerations when we get into these various aspects of media and, and signaling and what we're going to do it. Just, this is not something that you have to be expert in, um, but understanding some of these factors may help you uh, in understanding the, the limitations, restrictions, and uh, benefits of certain types of media and certain types of signaling.